Welcome to the Bali Bird Farm, located less than an hour's drive outside of the capital city of Denpasar, Bali. It's about $20 US to get in, which is a lot of money in Bali, but well worth the money with a wide variety of very interesting birds. And the price also includes a reptile farm with quite a number of cobras, if you like that sort of thing. I was pleased to find that the park was mainly wheelchair accessible, with fairly wide and smooth pathways. It's not difficult to get around. After getting through the front gates, the park started off with a fine collection of parrots, which of course are very common in my native city of Perth, Western Australia. There were quite a few birds new to me, but of course I recognized things like a cassowary and pelicans, which are very common around here. I was quite impressed by their collection of pink flamingos. The flamingos were backed by a very well done waterfall. I was very impressed by a large hornbill that was quite content to sit on my shoulder for at least a minute. I was rather frightened that it would dump a load on me, but I was fortunate to escape that fate. Thank goodness. A friend warned that a hornbill can make a nasty fight, but I didn't see it fight anyone before I allowed it to sit on my shoulder. These are truly amazing birds, and I wish we had a few in Australia. My traveling companion this trip was Tommy Taranga, who I'd met in a recent stay in hospital. He was very uncomfortable with hornbills, but managed the other birds much better. We enjoyed visiting what appears to be a Balinese longhouse, a local native Balinese dwelling, of which we didn't see any in Bali, but I guess they date well back to the past. They're quite an elaborate building with lots of carvings, but not wheelchair accessible. These pictures indicate the pathways by which one can walk around the park with the greatest of ease. Of course, having to avoid peacocks and such like. We start to enjoy the peaceful tranquility of the waterfall. I've never seen a puppy fish owl before. It certainly looks like an owl, and it's hard to believe that it dives underneath the water to catch fish, and then spreads its wings to dry its feathers in the hot tropical sun. Very interesting indeed. I wonder how its eyes hold the daytime brightness. The lesser adjuvant is a huge bird but kept friendly cage done. Like many bird parks, there's a very large closed bird cage that one can enter and walk around and through. Many small types, many types of small birds flying around freely. I guess the thing that impressed me the most was the Komodo visit found only on the island of Komodo near Bali. These ditches can grow three or four meters in length, and this one was the size of a crocodile, about two meters in length, eating a full-size rabbit. Very impressive. Apparently on the island of Komodo there's no fences, so when one's visiting one's got to dodge these things. Apparently, they're quite good at charging. We finished our trip with a visit to the reptile aquarium. It's a separate exhibition, and I managed to get into the cobra enclosure to see a spinning cobra and a king cobra and a few others. Unfortunately, I couldn't get into the rest of the area.